step in, but I kind of just woke up this morning and I think I might be going blind. Somebody, please. I can actually only see like three blocks in front of me. Oh, okay, guys, slow and steady. Uh, hey, Bessie, how's it, how's it going? Uh, do you know why I'm blind? Oh, I have a blindfold on me that Bessie put on me while I was sleeping. Thanks a lot. At least she said she has something cool for me today. She has a book called The Ultimate Swords. Over the past 2,000 years, I have been creating the ultimate Minecraft swords. Each sword was carefully crafted by the greatest iron golems I could find. Let me know what you think. Love, Swordmaster Bessie. I honestly didn't know that you were 2,000 years old, or maybe you're even older than that. Comment down below how old you think Bessie is. But it seems like in this chest, we have a ton of crazy Minecraft swords. We have the Crimson Sword. We have the spin kooka we have a sword just called eternity guys if you are excited for today's insane video don't forget to leave a like subscribe if that subscribe button is indeed red tap the little bell when it pops up also check out the brand new merch it's linked down below at the top of the description backbrojack.co to get the best and then awesomest and also the most cookiest merch in the game speaking of cookiest uh rodney do you have any cookies no of course he doesn't because i give him cookies and he just hides them i'm pretty sure and he's involved with it too. One day I'm gonna find out where they're hiding my cookies. There's gonna be an entire stash, but until that day comes, we might as well check out all of these crazy swords that Bessie apparently had some iron golems craft up. Uh, it looks like they're all pretty similar. They all have the same, uh, it looks like attack speed, attack damage. You may be able to modify them, but I think they're just like really cool looking blades. Huh, let's see how they look in third person. Whoa, dude. That is insane. This is like 10 times better than just a regular diamond sword. For a quick comparison, here is, you know, the uh, stupid little Minecraft sword that, you know, everybody tries to craft in Minecraft. But now you can get these crazy swords that are a lot bigger. They also have a pretty cool looking textures. These look like straight out of, you know, a nice Dungeons and Dragons type game where you just have to, you know, go and destroy everything. We also have something called the spin. Kuga, okay, that's a little bit broken. But in my hand, what the? This is like some sort of really weird toothed dagger. Even in first person, I can't even, like every time I hit, do I? Okay, yeah, I definitely am, you know, doing a stabbing motion, which is cool. Let's just uh, sneak up on this fake Bessie. Like I'm some sort of ninja. All right, 360, and then boom. Oh, bro, this thing is deadly. Since we have so many swords, I just kind of want to power through them. We have another one called Eternity. This thing looks crazy. And the coolest part is that they all have unique models and they also have like really awesome names. I think the names might be my favorite part. But guys, at the end of the video, be sure to comment your favorite sword down below. This one called Eternity looks amazing. And it is also massive, dude. Pretty sure it may be uh, like as tall as me when I'm standing next to it. Okay, maybe a little bit shorter, but that's because, you know, I have a little growth spurt lately. We also have Ronin Blades, which, okay, this is probably another dagger-like weapon. Oh my goodness, dude, the textures on these things are awesome. It looks like Messi wants me to fight some mobs with these awesome-looking swords, so let's just uh, grab, what do we have, Tensabi Pigmen? Bro, this is gonna be the easiest fight ever. I have all these amazing blades. All right, let's try out the Ronin Blade. I wanna see, like, third person how it looks. So if I just run in, there's no, like, crazy animation, and it also doesn't look like I can spam it, like, you know, old combat. So you kind of have to take your time with it. So let's see. We have a regular Zabra Pigman. I have this really cool Ronin Blade. Okay, that did not attack damage. And then if I wait a little bit, I can come in and just kill basically any mob in two single hits. Let's try out this weird spin Kuga thing. Uh, you probably have to spin once and then attack. That makes more sense. I'm really sorry, Rodney. But guys, we have a ton of swords to check out, so we might as well keep going through. All right, let's put back my old swords. We have a Smiling Blade, a Broad Zen, Bloody Blades, Overswing Dude. Hold on, let's just clear out my inventory a little bit here. The first one is already my brand new favorite. It literally has the most cool markings I've ever seen. And yeah, dude, I was gonna say, it looks massive. All right, let's test it out. We have some Zap Pigment down. Might as well spawn in a ton because all these swords do insane amounts of attack damage. 12 attack damage is super great. Plus, with the new combat, I could just hit multiple at the same exact time. Let's try this one. Broad Zen, dude. Okay, let's get a nice look. Huh, Mrs. Zan Pigman? My sword slash Broad Zen is way cooler than any of your gold swords. Roddy, stop getting in my way. He's only asking me hit. 
We also have, what is this, bloody blades. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, these are like another dagger-like weapon. Let's see. I don't like these as much because I can't really see if I'm hitting them or, or not. Like, because, you know, I can't even see my hand currently. But I think it's working. The next weapon looks absolutely amazing, though. That is the biggest weapon I think I've checked out. Therefore, it is my brand new favorite. Let's go see what else Betsy wants me to take down. Five zombie soldiers. All right, this should be easy enough. Let's clear out the inventory. And let's see how this giant, like, water axe looks. All right, let's see. We have two soldiers right there. What's up, Miss soldiers? All right, they have a little bit of armor. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I may need some armor myself. Hopefully, Messi has something for me. No, not in there. Okay, in here, it looks like we have some nice knight armor and also some dragon scales. All right, let's plop this all on. Oh, my gosh, dude. I look like a flipping awesome warrior now. You guys go down. Yep, giant axe to the face. Yep, I'm sorry. I had to do that to you. This next one seems really strange. It's called, what is this? The Feline Soul. And it kind of just takes up my entire arm and turns it into like a giant tiger fist. I don't know how Bessie did this, but these swords slash weapons are absolutely insane. Let's just spawn this one in. All right, what's up, Mr. Feline Soul? All right, yeah, dude, this thing is amazing. It literally just turns my hand into a giant metal fist of death. I'm gonna keep my hands on this one. I'm gonna save it for later, but we do have two more to check out. We have the Blade Seki. Okay, this one seems really skinny. And then we also have the Sunfang, which is like a little tiny sword. They're not necessarily my favorite, but uh, yeah, that's because the Feline Soul is absolutely amazing. All right, that one doesn't seem to have some great range. This one seems awesome, though. Okay, there we go. Watch yourself, Rodney, all right? I don't want to accidentally stab you in the face. Since you're not holding any cookies, I'll let you hold on to these extra swords for me. All right, there we go. And let's go see if Bessie has any more. I'm pretty sure she has a lot more for me. I'm going to plop all these into my inventory and just uh, grab a couple more from here just so we get a, a nice little count. I'm pretty sure there's over, like, 400 weapons, so I kind of think that these are just Bessie's favorites. We're going to need some more mobs to take down if we check out any more of these. All right, let's just plop that there. Looks like we have some hostile wolves. We have a minotaur. And we also have some wizards. All right, let's just destroy the poop out of these wizards. There we go. What's up, buddy? Yep, I have a giant blazing spear. You're going to get destroyed. All right, there we go. Mr. Wizard, buddy. Okay, back the heck up. I also have this Jinsaron. Oh, no. Oh, hey. Hey, Andy. How's it going? I don't really need your help because I have these really cool swords. But, I mean, I guess you can stick around. It's been a while since I've seen Andy. I'm pretty sure him and Rodney are colluding together to steal all my cookies. But don't tell them that I kind of know. But, anyway, let's head over here. And uh, we have another wizard. We have this awesome... It almost looks like a training sword, but it's not. It is massive. And, uh, oh, yeah, Andy. Okay, yeah, I guess you could take him out if you really want to. The next one looks like a giant sword at the top. And then there's a space in the middle where, oh, uh, yeah, it looks like it'll uh, just basically destroy anything. Let's try it out. All right, let's see. Empty shadow. Let's also grab the next one, which is the executioner. Um, if you could just get me out of this weird-looking demonic bubble, that would be cool. Okay, there, there we go. Thanks so much, bro. I'm gonna have to take you out, because I can't have that happening again. But yeah, these are the last three swords. We have the Jin Surun thing, Empty Shadow, and I think this was the, uh, the Executor, which, out of these three, I think I like the Executor. It definitely has the coolest design, but we still have a couple more to check out, but, uh, I kind of ran out of mobs, so let's see. We have a Minotaur, a Hostile Wolf, and another Hostile Wolf. All right, easy enough. Let's get the Minotaur down. And next up, we literally have something called Prepare to Die. Hold on, Mr. Minotaur. I want to get a solid look. It literally is just a tiny little ball of spikes. All right, get out of here, man. I could just three-hit KO him. Oh, my gosh, guys. I think I found the new best sword in the entire universe. I, I forget what it's called already, but oh, brother. This thing is amazing. It's called King's Tail. Just having this thing in my hand is awesome. I actually feel like a king. It has like a lion's head design as the hilt. And then at the top, there is a giant spike. So, you know, I should probably keep mobs far away from me. Let's try it out. We have a hostile wolf. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, never mind. I don't feel bad anymore. Okay, maybe a little bit bad. This one I'm also going to save for later because that thing looks amazing. And the last one we have in my inventory is called Midnight Axe which literally is a giant axe head with like 12 spikes on it. I think I should be able to easily just one AKO this angry wolf. I'm really sorry to do that to you, Mr. Wolf. Rodney, here you go. I have a couple more swords to add to your inventory. I uh, see, uh, I forget which ones I've used already. Oh my gosh, dude. This giant axe is amazing. Let's, uh, let's get some mobs to fight. All right, hold on, hold on, wait. I have a fake Bessie. I'm really sorry. Yep, just absolutely messed him up. 
Let's go see if we have any more. We have a block and chain. We have a goblin knight and a knight phantom. We might as well take down the goblin first. Oh, uh, what's up, dude? Yeah, I have this giant axe that yeah, I'm just gonna wreck you with. We also have fused blades, which is okay. That is amazing. I have like a little claw now. Let's test it out on this guy. He has a little bit of resistance, but no worries because I have another giant axe called the hidden axe. And yep, I just immediately destroyed him. Let's get down a goblin knight. Oh, that thing is huge. All right, let's get out Thunder Dad, which is like a sideways axe almost that has three huge spikes on it. Okay, dude, no, 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 stop it. Let's see, we have something called a Silent Eden, which, okay, looks like I could probably poke him in the face with this. Boom! Okay, uh, no, wait, I may have missed. All right, there we go, I have to hit him in the back. No, get out of here, bro. And boom, hit him in the butt. Okay, Andy, Andy, yeah, yeah, if you could please help. I'm having trouble with this uh, giant sword fight, dude. Okay, let's, uh, while Andy's doing that, let's just grab my last three weapons that I had, which is uh, something called a DGX, which is, okay, this one's like a claw, it seems like. All right, dude, hold on. I, I want to get a good look. All right, yep, yeah, definitely looks cool on the ground. <laughs> Let's just take this dude out. Not a huge fan of that last weapon, but the next one I think is going to be perfect for this fight. It's like a little tiny thin sword that I should be able to get in there. Okay, stop, stop it. Yep, there we go. Wrecked him. Oh, gosh, I forgot there's a lower goblin knight. All right, let's finish him off with something called Spider's Karma. This thing has the most spikes I've ever seen on a sword. All right, get, get, get the heck out of here, bro. I might as well just throw all these out there because they do look amazing in their, you know, 3D render. All right, let's get them all out here. There we go. We have a ton of swords, axes, and different blades. But I think we do have a couple magic wands to test out as well. So I think I just added a ton of spells to these different magical wands. But let's test it out. So we have this one right here, which almost looks like a black hole. We have Hey Hey Hey, which uh, is like a giant flame. We also have a Diabolic Wand. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Let's see. Do I have any spells? Let's try it out. Okay, can I can I use the spell? Oh, okay. I think I just summoned a black hole and Rodney got stuck in it. I'm really sorry about this. I did not know that I had the ability to spawn in a black hole, but I guess I should have guessed it because there's literally like a black hole on the top of this wand, which is awesome. We also have this uh, Magic Fumon. Which is awesome, dude. Look at that. It's almost like I have a book of spells. Let's get a Night Phantom down here and let's try out. Okay, wait a second. Let's see. What is this one? The Eternal Light A. This one's cool as well because it has like a little tiny spell book on it. We also have the Treasure Wand, which, okay, all right. I don't know if I can get a good look at this thing. And then we also have something called the Dark Crow, which is a little tiny awesome fan. But let's go back to my Witch's Stick and see what spell I have on this thing. Okay, I have a Shadow Wraith. Awesome. Do I have any other spells on the other ones? Uh, let's see. What do I have on Hey Hey Hey? What's up, dude? Oh, I have a Shockwave. Do I have any other spells? What does this one do? Ice Age? Bro, I should probably should have looked at what spells I have. On the Diabolic Wand, I have something else. Let's see. Earthquake. Oh, bro, that was awesome. Now, they don't do a lot of attack damage, sadly. Let's see. Do I have anything else on here? Empty slot? Uh, what is... No, wait. Go back. What does this thing do? Uh, Meteor? Okay. That worked out kind of well, but I think I need to summon in a black hole again. Or whatever the heck this is. Hold on. Stop it. Stop it. No. Oh, lightning hammer. Whoa. Yep, that is Thor's hammer. I have another spell that I really don't know what it does. Let's see. Meteor again? Okay, I think I may have missed that one. Oh. Oh, Andy just came in and wrecked him. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Be sure to comment your favorite, you know, sword, dagger, axe, or magic wand down below in the comment section. Mine is probably still the King's Tale. Because this thing is massive, and it just looks absolutely amazing. But guys, be sure to comment your favorite down below. My name is Macbro Swordmaster. That is Andy's stomach. And uh, we will see you all back again here tomorrow. Peace out, dudes.